Uh, so, um, I need to make a correction in what I previously stated. Variables can be passed between fixtures as long as they reside on the same test page. So here, once again, I have my sample Excel file. As you can see here, it's 2 by 3. In this last row, I put the value 5.0. In sample text, line 8 is 5.0 as well. And so we're going to go ahead and, I went ahead and created a fixture, just a simple compare fixture that took in um, two doubles and, you know, just did a comparison on them and produced a Boolean value. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So as you can tell, it's just a simple variable test. Um, I'm reading in from the Excel file right here. And I'm getting for value 8, 2 by 3. So I'm literally taking in row 2, column 3. On this line, and for text file reader, line 8, if you remember, was 5.0. So I'm just going ahead and reading that in as line 8, the variable. And this little value compare picture that I just put together quickly does a quick compare between values 8 and that in line 8. So the method is called compare double to and let's go ahead and run it and just go ahead and verify the results again. There you go. So as you can see here it started reading in these values and if you need to see further clarification or you want some proof let's go ahead back and open up the file right here. So val1 is row1, cell3, row1, cell3, and the contents are cell1-3, as you can see right here. Val8 is set to row2, column3, and the value is 5.0. The text file, line1, line2, line3, and you can see these values are tab delimited. So, there you go. So I've just proven that you can go ahead and pass variables between fixtures as long as they reside on the same test page. And we can also go ahead and do an output capture here and just go ahead and see what the logs have to say. There you go, right there. And 5.0. And you can see here the fixture outputs 5.0 equals 5.0. Have a good one.